Hi, Leo. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Leo Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo and the message is actually for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you in your situation. Keep in mind these are general timeless readings. Everything is down below in the description box that you need. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. We have the cave in the reverse. That's in the external environment. That's like a person that not um, hiding. You know what I mean? The cave. So it looks like someone could be coming out in the open. If, especially if it's been kind of like covert or something like that. All right. Maybe there's been something emotional here taking place. Okay, this temple is such an interesting card. I don't know if you guys are religious or I would just say in general, it's like rituals, okay? This can be meditation, prayer, intentions. There's like something about that that's important. There's something going on in the underworld and we have threshold like stepping into something and the tear, like a, a lot of emotions. You are either dealing with something emotional or someone that's like really close up in your energy. Oh, Knight of Cups, hello. Okay, um, that can be an, an emotional offer. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, okay, on the lighter side of things, this Queen of Cups reverse can be a person who's like emotionally drained or currently, um, Maybe there's some depression there. It can look like moodiness. I totally get it. But this person might, in general, maybe they're struggling with setting proper boundaries or whatever that looks like. Wow. Okay. The Knight of Swords is in reverse. We have the Ace of Cups. This is so amazing. And the Nine of Cups. <laughs> okay. I really love this. So it looks like there's something coming in. There's the Page of Swords reverse and the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Let me just pull the rest of the cards before I get into this because you might. Oh, Two of Cups in the reverse. What happened there? Oh, I know exactly what this is. Okay. Oh, okay. I know exactly what this is talking about. Strength and there's all this stuff tied to the Ace of Pentacles, I guess. There could be a new job, a new home. It's tangible. Um, you might be wanting to save money. Um, you also might be doing this behind the scenes or keeping it to yourself. Okay. All right, Leo. So there's your energy. You look really strong and capable and you're trying to be strong in a situation. I feel like you're dealing with significant people. There's a few that are standing out the most, depending on what that looks like. Someone could be disconnecting here or you're dealing with two people like look how fascinating this is um okay i feel like this is one of those scenarios of there's like this person that is coming across as like emotionally available but it's there's a misalignment here i'm just gonna say that straight up like there's a person here whatever that looks like 
maybe it's the feminine energy maybe pulled back on the emotions there's a lot of water stuff here a lot okay someone could be really emotional i'm not sure who um that could be someone that you're dealing with I feel like this is the main thing here. There's like this Knight of Cups, I feel like who's probably going to straight up make an offer, whatever that looks like to you. Like this person is really emotionally available or they're gonna try to make an offer because maybe like this person is going through something. This person could have like, a bit of a fa um fantasizing i don't know no not in like a bad way it's like this person is very romantic okay um i feel like in another avenue they are disconnecting or they have di disconnected from some other person that's like really harsh with their words or and we've all been there <laughs> But this person that they could be disconnecting from, it's like, um, this person could be, like, really blunt, or they say, they even are very crass, like, they say really, um, look, I swear a bit, so I'm not gonna totally talk. <laughs> down on that but this person could have a, a legit like sailor mouth you know i'm getting someone like that very loud blunt maybe even a bit explosive this person could be doing something weird and all of a sudden you could be hearing from someone there's a lot of emotional restoration this is really beautiful because you have the ace of cups that could be a new friend or a new love that's coming into the environment and the nine of cups is like i don't know if there's like a dog i love this card so much because it's almost like a therapy dog this person it brings a lot of this person did i just say person this this it's a pet or it's an energy that is like a therapy blanket. I don't know what to say. It's like the, this energy, there's a lot of emotional balance that comes from this particular energy. I don't know why that is so important to point out. That could be the thing that's like helping you right now is there's going to be this connection with this energy and it will seriously be so restoring or like I don't know there's just a lot of happiness and fulfillment and that might be the thing that's going to shift this whole thing but I just keep getting someone who's making an advancement and it's kind of like unwanted or one side like someone could be either trying to apologize or either is trying to come in emotionally towards this person but this person might be disconnected right now they're either like um yeah i keep just getting drained this person could be stopping progress or stopping investing in a situation because they feel like there's something in this environment or this energy that is in the upside down like what which could be someone heard something or someone is like i almost want to say that's what's going on someone could have been um, obsessively watching someone or some kind of situation. So, however it is applying, Leo, that could be something here that maybe this is even someone you feel is kind of reserved or you perceive them to be that way with the cave reverse but this might be something that comes out in the open or this person kind of comes out of their shell in some particular way and um i'm almost getting that you're gonna start something new from all of this 
There could be something new that's developing over here. You might be trying to save money for this or you're trying to kind of like um, keep it protected, something along those lines. Wow, that is so messed up. Yeah, okay, yeah. So there could be a person over here. <laughs> I have seen this lately. You might, look, just keep things to yourself. Because you've got a person, Page of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. Someone could be trying to take something, but they're like lying about it. This is really messed up. I don't know. I don't know. There's something weird going on here. You might be looking at a person or a situation. They could be mirroring you or mimicking you. I don't... Or there's like an obsession here that someone might have and you're kind of like working through it. All right? Because for some of you guys, it might be too that someone's genuinely going through something traumatizing if they have this other energy. I almost feel like if this is... Um, someone else connected to this person. This person might be romantically thinking about like something. <laughs> I know that was so vague, sorry. But it's like, um, I was like picking up on these scenarios and I don't know how accurate they are. That's what I mean, this dynamic feels like someone's really strongly coming in emotionally to this person because they're emotionally unavailable. That's what it looks like straight up. Like it could have been something that came up in a partnership and there could be this process that's going on to try to work on things or try to move through the experience. That's great if that's the case, but I also feel like low-key behind the scenes someone's like copying or developing something um but they're like lying about something they're lying this could be a person that is very greedy they they're trying to generate something new but they're lying about what they're doing i cannot believe that that came straight out like that so yeah, I almost wanted to say that in general, Leo. Someone might have an obsession with you. They might be, like, it, it might be something like this person wanted to be like you or wanted to, um, I don't, it, it could be weird ways that it's getting expressed. Like, um, there was something off in the environment here like I don't know there's misinformation or someone is not being honest and it could be about financial stuff or business dealings there's someone here that's like they're not telling the truth because they want to keep everything to themselves like this person has they have a bit of miser energy to them or they um they the core of it is this person has some kind of lack mentality or like maybe they even have some kind of poverty trauma there was a time in their life where they felt like they didn't have enough so they have like all these different ways of expressing it and interestingly that's coming up somewhere in the environment whatever you're dealing with don't be surprised if you get some kind of emotional offer possibly from an energy that's dealing with this other like super harsh thing but someone might be it's all I don't get that it's anything bad you just might not have the emotional capacity right now to really um give to something which might not be I don't know don't look back <laughs> obviously move toward the new I think that's a good thing or for those of you like if you have a current relationship it could just be about trying to work through it and nurture it or restore the emotional part of it because I can see it here someone like really loves a dog <laughs> I don't know that's so funny the thing I'm getting like I don't know there's some kind of funny thing about that like a dog 
Like, it's super significant. Oh, Leo. Let me dive into the extended. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see you over there. But Leo, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in your next reading. Take care.